Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Angelonia. Yes, I have this plant. Angelonia serena purple. It doesn't need dead heading to produce a continuous display of blossoms. This plant should only be grown in full sunlight. It does best in average to evenly moist conditions but will not tolerate standing water. A very beautiful flowering plant in my balcony. You can also grow it. Another plant, a nice white rose my dear lovely viewers i know that you know rose is undoubtedly the queen of flowers i have white rose and red rose in my balcony if you love rose you can grow rose just like other plants roses grab sun at least six to eight hours a day is ideal. It needs rich soil, well-draining soil as well. If possible, protect from hot noon sunlight like 12 p.m. to 2 p.m. Yes, these are dancing. Yes, my dear lovely viewers, I'm talking about my rain lily. Rain lilies bloom in response to late season rains but will not thrive in soggy soil. It is also known as zephyr lily and fairy lily, pink, yellow, and white colors are available in my house but I'm searching for the red one viewers if you have red one and if you want to give it to me in that case please leave a comment so that I can collect from you It needs uh, regular watering even during dormancy and its soil should be well draining like other plants. So these are my rain lilies. I have three colors white, yellow and pink. Jarbera my most favorite flower it was named in honor of german botanist and medical doctor his name was tragut gerber there are different colors of gerberas are available in the market but i have bought three colors from the nursery that is my pink one uh, light pink dark pink and yellow one i mm, give water in the morning so the soil can dry throughout the day and i give deeply water in my gerbera plants once a week i keep in an area with full direct sunlight be sure to trim the plant after the bloom starts to help new blooms grow my next flowering plant is hibiscus when you care for a hibiscus you should remember that hibiscus flowers best in temperatures between 16 to 32 centigrades. When hibiscus are in their blooming stage, they uh, require large amounts of water. In the summer, 
I use a high potassium fertilizer. You can either use a liquid fertilizer once a week. You can also use a slow uh, release fertilizer once a month or you can add high potassium compost to the soil. In the winter, you do not need to fertilize at all. my almond i um, grow my almond with planting in medium size use potting soil with equal parts of cocoa peat compost and sand it needs four hours or more of direct bright sunlight uh, water deeply until the excess moisture runs out of the drainage holes but then wait until the top surface of the soil dries out before you irrigate again. Alamondia doesn't like wet feet. Now my uh, last plant for today's vlog is periwinkle. Uh, the biggest issue with this periwinkle care is overwatering. Uh, apply infrequent supplemental water in only the hottest and driest period and it will provide you with very cute blooming in summer. So you can see my flower is blooming perfectly properly so my dear lovely viewers thanks for watching this video clip I tried to share my few flowering plants with you thanks a lot